Hi, I'm Cheryl Dale and I'm a nurse practitioner in hepatology. Today, I'm going to talk about PEG interferon and ribavirin for the treatment of hepatitis C. You can visit our website www.liverinfo.com and print off a copy of our PEG interferon ribavirin picto pamphlet to follow along with this video. PEG interferon is also known as Pegasus or Pegatron. PEG interferon is taken by an injection under the skin just once a week. A nurse can teach you how to give the injections and a friend or a family member can also help with your injections. Ribavirin is taken in a pill form twice a day. There are four things you need to do when taking PEG interferon and ribavirin. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, it is important to get regular blood tests. This is to make sure the medicine isn't affecting your blood counts. Second, alcohol can interfere with PEG interferon. It is best to avoid all alcohol. Third, PEG interferon can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. It is best to call your doctor or nurse if you develop a fever or think you have an infection. And finally, don't get pregnant or breastfeed while taking PEG interferon and ribavirin. Ribavirin can harm an unborn child. The most common side effect of PEG interferon is flu-like symptoms, such as feeling unwell, feeling tired, having a low-grade fever, chills, achy muscles and joints, and headaches. This is common within the first one to two days after each injection. PEG interferon can also cause a skin reaction at the injection site. Let your doctor or nurse know if these become severe. Some people also feel generally weak and tired throughout their treatment with PEG interferon. PEG interferon and ribavirin can sometimes cause a loss of appetite and weight loss. Let your doctor or nurse know if any of these side effects become severe. Let your doctor or nurse know if you feel irritable or anxious or experiencing worsening of depression or thoughts of suicide while taking PEG interferon. Also, tell your doctor or nurse if you develop shortness of breath or chest pain. PEG interferon has rarely been associated with thyroid and blood sugar problems. Your doctor can look for these with a simple blood test. Finally, PEG interferon and ribavirin very rarely cause a rash or thinning of the hair. If you're taking PEG interferon and ribavirin, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, if you're concerned about any side effects, or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason. There are other specific reasons to call your doctor or nurse. If you have chest pain or shortness of breath, if you feel depressed or have thoughts of suicide, if you become pregnant, if you have any changes in your vision, and finally, if you develop a rash. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website, www.liverinfo.com.